This lesson will focus on simplifying a cert from National 5. A cert is an unresolved root. By this, we mean that we cannot gain a whole number answer when we take the square root. For example, root 10 is a cert, as we cannot resolve this with a whole number answer. To simplify a cert, we look to see what square number is a factor of the number underneath the root. Example 1. Simplify a root 8, b root 20. In example 1a, we're looking to simplify root 8. When we're looking to simplify this, we are checking for two numbers that multiply together to give me 8. One of them must be a square number. So to begin with, let's just set out our roots. So we have root something multiplied by root something. So for the number 8, we can either use 8 and 1 or we can use 4 and 2. The number 4 is a square number, so we write that down first. Always put your square number first. So we have root 4 multiplied by root 2. Remembering, 4 and 2, that just gives me 8. From there, we want to simplify down. I know that the square root of 4 is 2. I cannot simplify root 2 down, so I'll just leave that as multiplied by root 2. So the final answer is 2 root 2. Example B, we're starting with root 20. Same thing again. Two numbers that multiply together to give me 20, one of them has to be square. So let's just set out our roots. Okay, so our options here, we can go with 20 and 1, we can go with 10 and 2, we can go with 4 and 5. The only one that has a square number involved is 4 and 5, so it has to be root 4 multiplied by root 5. From there, simplify down. The square root of 4 is 2. We cannot simplify root 5 down. That's fine, that just stays there. And we finish off writing as 2 root 5. Example 2. Simplify root 50. In our next example, we're looking to simplify down root 50. Same thing again, let's look for two numbers that multiply together to give me 50. One, however, has to be square. So for the number 50, we're looking at 5 and 10, we're looking at 50 and 1, or we're looking at 25 and 2. Go through those numbers and find out which one has a square number involved. It has to be 25 and 2. So I'll say root 25 multiplied by root 2. Simplify down where possible. Well, the square root of 25 is 5 multiplied by root 2. And we write that as 5 root 2. Example 3. Simplify root 72. In our final example, we're looking to simplify down at root 72. Again, we're looking for two numbers that multiply together. One of them must be square. So if I put in my root symbols here, I've got a few options here. Now, I'm going to do this two different ways so that you can see it. So let me just split my board here. Okay. So for the number 72, a lot of people would go with root 9, root 8. So if we did that, we've got root 9, multiply by root 8. Okay, These two numbers multiply together to give me 72 and the number 9 is a square number. Perfect. If I simplify that down, I get 3 multiplied by root 8. So I'm going to then just say, well, that's 3 root 8. However, the root 8, if you look at your previous examples, can be further simplified down. So from there, we would have to say 3 multiplied by, so we'll get a root, multiplied by a root. 
Two numbers that multiply together to give me eight, one of them being square, is root four multiplied by root two. That then gives me three multiplied by two multiplied by root two. Finally, simplifying that down, three multiplied by two is six root two. Now, let's look at a different way we could have tackled this. If we had root 72, yes, 9 multiplied by 8 gives us 72. However, we could also say that root 36 multiplied by root 2. 36 multiplied by 2 gives me 72, and 36 is a square number. That tells us when we're doing these questions, we're always going to look for the highest square number, which is a factor. So from there, if I simplify down, the square root of 36 is 6, which I will multiply by root 2. It's my final answer. It's 6 root 2.